Welcome to Dr. Zen. Today we have with us Dr. Vandana Kadam. She's the cosmetic dermatologist at Kaya Skin Care Clinic. She has been working there for seven years. Dr. Vandana, could you please tell us more about your experience? I have done my MBBS and uh, degree of medicine in dermatology uh, in Mumbai University. And mm -hmm. I have done also my diploma of uh, national board from Delhi uh, University. And I have been working in the field of dermatology from 18 years. And uh, in Middle East, I am working from uh, 15 years. Mm -hmm. And in Kaya, as you said, I am working from seven years. Yeah. What precautions should people take to prevent skin damage? The sun exposure is uh, about 90% is the cause for the skin damage. And it is impossible to stress on the how important is the sun protection in uh, protecting the premature aging, you know. Mm -hmm. It is very important to uh, take care of your skin and uh, uh, sun protection is very important factor. So when you start using sunblock, uh, it is important to know your type of skin. According to that, you have to select your uh, sunblock. Mm -hmm. Just try to choose sunblock which is broad spectrum sunblock which covers both ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B. Also it is important to uh, use your sunblock just 20 to 30 minutes before you step out of the house and you have to uh, repeat every two hours. Apart from uh, sunscreen application, uh, the people should wear uh, protective clothing mm -hmm. uh, like example full sleeve clothes and pants and also use of uh, sunglasses and uh, also they should uh, uh, avoid going to the sun between uh, 10, to 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And just be sure that you apply uh, sunscreen application, uh, sunblock, which is more than uh, 30 SPF. Mm. And uh, since what age uh, should people start uh, taking care of their skin? Actually, there is no certain age where you, uh, you start getting the sun damage, you know. Mm -hmm. You can get as early as in the childhood. So you must start applying uh, sunblock application uh, since your uh, childhood because it depends on how you expose to your uh, during your childhood you know example let's say uh, when the uh, when you get exposed to sun uh, in childhood you can get uh, aging as early as uh, late 20s or early 30s okay. doctor which age group suffers most from skin damage and why as I told you, there is no certain age from where the skin damage starts. Mm -hmm. It can start as early as childhood. Also, it depends on your lifestyle and also your occupation. So people who are working outdoors and also uh, athletes and also people who are uh, more exposure to sun, uh, they can get more sun damage. And why? What's the reason behind that? Because because, because of the, the sun, uh, because, the main reason? Yeah, basically the sun exposure, uh, you, you are exposing your skin to ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B. Mm -hmm. So basically the ultraviolet A uh, has effect on the uh, skin which causes the uh, aging effect to the skin. And also ultraviolet B, uh, it has an immediate effect on the skin which causes uh, sunburns. Please tell us about the anti-aging campaign in Kaya Clinic. At present, we are running a campaign, uh, which is anti-aging uh, campaign in Kaya Skin Clinic, mm -hmm. and where you are offering a special discount of 15% uh, on wow. all anti-aging services, mm -hmm. including uh, Botox and fillers. Dr. Vandana, could you please tell us what should be the one's daily skincare routine? Before you talk about uh, daily skincare routine, it is very important to know about the type of skin the person has mm -hmm. and according to uh, that the skin care routine differs. But the routine uh, day care includes uh, cleanser and followed by toner and then application of moisturizer is a must for all type of skin. And then uh, later on uh, sunblock application to be applied. And over the top of that, you can apply your foundation or makeup or powder, any other application. So after the moisturizer, we have to apply yes, the sunblock. Yes, yes. Do women age faster than men and why? Of course, yes, the women do age faster than men. And this is related to the thickness of skin. You know, the man uh, has 25% uh, more thick skin than women. And also the collagen density in the skin is uh, much uh, more than that compared to the woman. Mm -hmm. So it is very uh, rare to get uh, wrinkling uh, very fast in the men. 
woman's skin is more thinner so it it is more damage to the related to the sun can happen mm -hmm. and also uh, different hormonal influences also can uh, premature uh, aging can happen exactly. in women you know due to these factors the loss of collagen also can happen much more faster than in case of men okay yeah. so it's something not in our hands yes yes <laughs> what is premature aging and what are its causes Premature aging is unnatural acceleration of aging process mm -hmm. where a person looks uh, more older than what he or her age or his age is, you know. And about the prevention part, as you know, the sun damage is the more important uh, cause for the skin damage. So it is very important to use uh, sun protection. As I mentioned before, um, a sunblock application is very important. Mm -hmm. Along with that, Various life side modifications are important because uh, there are many other reasons for uh, skin damage like uh, use of alcohol, smoking, uh, lack of uh, water intake, mm -hmm. also many other factors like uh, lack of sleep and also the not doing exercises. So these are all factors uh, you, you have to take in into account. It shows on the yes, yes, yeah. yes. So very important you should limit the use of alcohol, caffeine. Um, various uh, carbonated uh, beverages mm -hmm. and also the uh, you should also do exercises because exercises can really cut down your aging process. Yeah. As I said the aging process is not limited to uh, late 40s or 50s. It can start as early as uh, 20. Mm -hmm. So it is very important to know that uh, what products you will use according to uh, what changes it's showing on your skin. So in early 20s or late 20s, uh, where uh, uh, you should start using uh, sunblock vigorously along with uh, vitamin C, which is work as an antioxidant, you know. And when you reach 30 years and 30 plus, it is very important along with sunblock, you must start using product like retinol, which really helps to uh, turnover of skin, you know and uh, it uh, helps to normalize your skin okay. along with that you have to uh, take care of skin like you have to use some products like alpha hydroxy acid and beta hydroxy acid because after 30 years of age your skin uh, starts becoming more thinner mm. so when you start doing uh, uh, any like glycolic acid uh, creams or any peeling it helps to thicken your skin after 40 years of age once your skin starts uh, showing uh, signs of aging in the form of uh, freckles, uh, wrinkles and also the uh, also thinning of skin mm -hmm. and so that age you start applying uh, along with sunblock you can start applying uh, creams containing uh, the stem cell extract, uh, peptides and also uh, retinol. Doctor, please advise us, when should someone see a dermatologist and what is the procedure since the consultation to the treatment? One should see a dermatologist as soon as uh, possible. That means as early as 20, the person can visit a dermatologist to examine his skin and to know the type of sun damage or skin damage happens. Mm -hmm. When uh, one person enters into the dermatologist room, of course we uh, go through a consultation with uh, detailed examination and also uh, the advice is given to the uh, client. Where the detailed uh, medical history is taken, also the lifestyle history and also uh, his occupational history, uh, uh, history is taken into account. And according to that, when we undergo a skin examination with the help of a skin scope, we can diagnose uh, early signs of uh, sun damage or skin damage. Because with, when we do the skin scope examination, we can uh, di early diagnosis of freckles can be done also if he is developing any uh, sun uh, red sun induced redness or any erythema yeah. or also any fine lines and wrinkles. So according to that, uh, we can uh, treat. So we can start early. Yeah, we can start uh, early. What are the anti-aging treatments that is available at Kaya Skin Care Clinic? After a detailed examination, uh, advice is given to the client either in the form of home uh, based creams mm -hmm. or uh, some services also we advised uh, in the clinic. Apart from that also the advice on uh, diet 
and also the lifestyle uh, modification is given to the client. In Kaya Skin Clinic, we do many anti-aging services uh, starting from uh, microdermabrasion which uh, includes in many facial like uh, anti-aging facials that includes uh, vitamin C facials. After that uh, we do a lot of uh, peeling sessions including alpha hydroxy acids and uh, beta hydroxy acids along with uh, vitamin C booster. Uh, plus uh, we use uh, many other services where uh, the laser technology is used like uh, we use uh, photo facials and also the uh, Fraxel laser for uh, as a rejuvenation. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, there is a radio frequency is used uh, for the skin tightening and for the rejuvenation. There are other uh, skin services uh, we offered also that includes uh, mesotherapy and uh, derma roller uh, is used for as an anti-aging uh, treatment. And apart from that, uh, we do uh, uh, use a Botox and we use uh, fillers and also uh, we use services like uh, uh, Kaya uh, Skin uh, Lift. Uh, by using uh, thread lifting and also we use uh, platelet rich plasma mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, used in Abu Dhabi Emirates. Mm -hmm. And along with that we do have uh, many uh, products uh, like some anti-aging creams and uh, uh, which includes uh, Kaya Firm and uh, Lift Cream and also Rejuvenating Serum and also Vitamin C Serum which is Antox Serum. Doctor, what do you advise for people who doesn't want to do any plastic surgeries and they want to, to get uh, fast results? The clients who don't want to go under a knife can definitely go for uh, services like uh, Botox, mm -hmm. fillers and also there are uh, new technologies like thread lifting is uh, recently we have started in Kaya. When a client is doing Botox and fillers, uh, basically it has, doesn't have any downtown and it shows the immediate result which uh, can be maintained up to six months. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you start uh, doing uh, other procedures like uh, together with Botox and filler, when you add uh, other procedures like thread lifting which we have recently launched in Kaya, that also gives a good improvement uh, because this thread lifting when we start doing it, it is uh, uh, basically the non-surgical procedure and also it has a less downtime. Mm -hmm. So, but the effect when we see, it starts seeing only after uh, two to three months of uh, treatment, you know. And also after six months we have to do it again or uh, like for Botox? Thread lifting, uh, Botox and filler we do it uh, every six months. Uh, but uh, for thread lifting, uh, the, the effect lasts longer, up to one year. Oh. Then you can repeat it after uh, one year. Okay. And at uh, what age we can start doing Botox? Depends on the skin or...? Basically, uh, Botox works on the uh, line which comes after expression. So you can start as early as 17 or 18 years of age also. Oh, okay. Yes. But uh, fillers, yes, of course, after 30 years when uh, there are more changes happens on the skin like sagging of skin and also there is uh, loss of uh, fat, then of course you can add uh, fillers and Botox in mm -hmm. this case. So is it better to use it earlier in early ages? Uh, Botox, yes, because it can uh, pre further prevent damage to the skin as it can prevent the st uh, development of static lines. What are the skin laser technologies that you are using at Kai's clinic for anti-aging? Uh, for anti-aging, uh, we are using a Fraxel laser uh, for skin tightening. Mm -hmm. And in this uh, type of laser, uh, we are basically heating the collagen uh, deep to the skin without uh, affecting the level of uh, epidermis, which is the top layer of skin. And when the, uh, the collagen gets heated, it uh, helps to produce more collagen and uh, that is how it uh, helps to develop uh, tightening of skin. And also there is other technology which is uh, called radio frequency. Uh, that also we have started using in our clinic. And um, where uh, uh, this, in this technology also the same, uh, the collagen is heated up and uh, which is used for the skin tightening. So what's the difference uh, like in the, in the results or uh this one you should use it for earlier age or? Uh, basically the Fraxel you can uh, use as early as 30 years of age. Bo both technology you can use, mm -hmm. but Ematrix works more deeper to the skin uh, as compared to uh, Fraxel. What skincare advice would you like to give to our viewers? My skincare advice to the viewers will be according to the skin type, 
of uh, cleanser, toner and uh, moisturizer which, which, which is very important steps in the skin care mm -hmm. and followed by uh, sunblock application. And they have to choose the right product according to right ingredients which are present in the uh, uh, skin care program. Should uh, restrict the use of alcohol, smoking, caffeine intake and also uh, nutritious diet which is very important and uh, regular exercises. And uh, you can go for uh, uh, routine facials just to keep your skin exfoliate and also you can uh, go for uh, regular checkup with the doctor. Thank you Dr. Vandana Karam from CAS Clinic for sharing with us today this useful information and thank you for watching us today in Doctors Inn. This is with you Lulia Hobby. Thank you.